The way this works is the microwave energy is absorbed by the silicon carbide crucible. So ceramic fiber insulation keeps the heat from burning up the microwave. Not quite ready yet. It takes about 45 minutes of heating to get the crucible hot enough to melt copper. And that's for around one pound of copper. I only treated the ceramic fiber with rigidizer and the fiber melted and stuck to the crucible. A bigger opening and coating the inside with refractory cement fixed that problem later. I asked several AIs this question. I melted one pound three ounces of copper with a one kilowatt microwave oven. Starting temperature was 70 degrees Fahrenheit and it took three quarters of an hour to melt. How efficient was the microwave oven in melting the copper? They all agreed it was about 12.3 percent efficiency. I used about eight cents worth of electricity to melt it. I didn't clean out the coating of the muffin pan before I poured the copper and it outgassed, forming bubbles. The Teflon also stuck to the copper and couldn't be cleaned off with the brush. I remelted and report it. Now it looks better. I later made a ceramic fiber insulator and coated the inside with refractory cement so the hot crucible doesn't stick. Thanks for watching.